Hey, hey, what you say? Welcome to the kitchen of Love and Light. I'm just fixing to put in some wraps and I wanted to just talk to you about a great base recipe for a raw wrap. So I've noticed if you want them to be flexible, a great thing to use is dates. And I usually do about nine or 10 and it depends. Uh, you know, obviously dates, it's just a big difference on, you know, you can have a little date or, or you could have a big juicy date. Now I don't have any tiny ones left, but I mean, you know, you want them to be very squishy. And um, then I just keep mine in the Debbie Meyer green box for when I'm ready to use those. But the chia seeds give it a, a very nice way of sticking together. But if you don't want to use even as many chia seeds, just up your dates and lower your chia seeds. So um, let's make one together, shall we? I just made this the other day, but I don't think y'all were joining me. So anyway, I'm here in the kitchen, so why not come along, right? So let's see if I can get you um, to where you can see. Okay, so let's see. We've got about, let's go about half a cup of chia seeds. And like I say, you could use less if you want to, okay? Let's go with, um, this is 10 dates that I've already decapped and pitted, of course. All right. Then, I have a lot of spinach on hand, that's why I'm using that. But you could also change the flavor with, uh, you can use carrots or... This is another way you can switch it up, okay? So that's about two cups. This is another way to get your greens on, you know what I'm saying? Four cups. Let's go with four cups. And now let's put some water. Let's go with um, That's about two and a half cups of water. Let's see how that does. And this is where you can also give it some different flavor. You can add in some um, lemon or lime juice right here, but I have some cayenne pepper, and this is about a third of a tablespoon. So adjust your spiciness according, you know. Let's, let's see how this looks on the blend. Can y'all still see? because you're just fixing to try to dehydrate the water out. But you have to get that to get a good batter going, and like I say, it's gonna thicken up. And also with the dates, so see, it's already done. So I think we'll let this sit here a minute, and then um, then we'll pour it, okay? So I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes, and we will see if it's ready to pour. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're back, and let me show you what this is looking like down in there. Do you see? Careful not to drop your phone down into the Vitamix. So this looks good, and I'm just giving it a little final stir to make sure it's all blended together. Now... I've got my dehydrator going over there at 110, oh, it's 108, and it's getting ready to go, okay? I have got my Teflex sheet on here, and we're going to pour this out in the middle, okay? This should make about four wraps, I think. Okay, so once it's like that, unless you wait too long, if you wait too long, it's gonna, you're gonna have to use your spatula. Okay, you're just gonna kind of self-level. You don't want to get it too thin. Okay, 
you want it. See, this batter does good because it makes more of a really professional looking um, round wrap, you know? Not like most of my things look like. I had no idea what shape they were going to be. So this is how it looks, okay? This is going to go in. Let me see if I have my little... Uh, Okay, let's see. This is like, you know what, let's just see how. Okay, that's about a quarter inch thick. So let's see how that does, okay? So I'll see y'all in a little bit with Get Your Wrap On. Bye. Okay, so see, as the batter sits there a little bit longer, it gets a little thicker. So you're gonna wanna kinda push it out, okay? Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, yeah, yeah. Show them how to do it now, okay? And this is how we do it when we are making the raw wrap, y'all. where it all goes down. Do you understand? So I want you to see something. I need you to sit still just a second. Okay, good. Okay, so look. First of all, the flexi wraps are done. Let me just show you. Okay, I'm not even flipping this. I just want to show you that. Do, do you understand? This is a genius, friends. I, I mean, I'm just saying. It fills a gap, you know? And then it, there is a certain amount of satisfaction of pulling these things off look oh yeah ah. <laughs> and then again again okay let's see now let me tell you something this one see how the edge was just starting to get a little bit more um so you want it kind of like that okay where it feels a little bit a little bit moist but as the air is out on it, it's going to harden up some. Because if you let it get too hard on the edge, it can kind of give you a little crackle. So you don't want that, but you can just re-moisten that just a little bit with a paper towel. So as you see, flexi wraps. So what are we gonna make with that? Okay, so what we're gonna do is right here, I have just pretty much some zucchini noodles, which yes, I know you're dying for me to show this tool again. Bam. I don't think you understand how easy this makes noodling for me. Okay, and then if I wanted to have, of course, bigger noodles, I would use this one, and they're not even thicker. They're just wider. Okay, and then over here in my um my food processor, you see, which is this kind right here, if anybody's interested. I showed my friend Mike the other day, and that's a really good one. My friend sent me that, and, and I'm loving it. So what I've done is I've taken one 59-cent pack of... um mushrooms and look at that just run them through a lot of times it's about the texture and the chop you know what i'm saying so look at that and then i have of course the carrots done the same way and then i just flipped over the little top slicey thing to where i had um small pieces coming through and then i have these you see and then this is just some Ita frontier um italian spices Okay, and then this is gonna be the dressing, which is pretty much just mango and tomato. And I might put a little cayenne because I'm on board with the kick today. So um, anyway, I'm gonna make the dressing and then I'm going to show you it all wrapped up. So see you in just a minute. Hey, I don't know why y'all have to go away. You can stay for the blend, right? Can you stay? Stay. <laughs> you remember that part off of um, Groundhog Day. So this is just one mango and about, I don't know, a cup of tomatoes. And um, when, let's, put, let's put these spices in. And let's see how that tastes first, okay? I know what you're thinking. Tanny, do you have on yoga pants? I have some exciting news that's going to be coming to you very soon on Grand. 
granny games, okay? <laughs> Get your granny games on. That's funny, I don't care how you are. Fresh and delicious. Do you see that? So let's get us a little um, let's get us a little cup for dipping. You see that right there? Look at that. Okay. Then you can't see, can you? Rattlesnakes. Hold on. Come down here. Hang on. Okay. Can you see now? That's good, isn't it? Okay, hold still. So we're gonna take our wrap. Let's get um. Let's get the large one, okay? And I'm gonna put the slick side like this where I'm gonna put my goodies in. Can y'all see? Yes, you can. You can see! Okay. All right, there we go. When you do this, you wanna put it like over some so that when you, you curl and tuck, you're not gonna have too much overage, too much, too much flap existence over there, you know? Okay, then we have some carrots. Okay, then we have some ever popular shrooms, right? Look at this. This is brilliant. Okay, little onions. You can put in there whatever you want, clearly, but okay, then what's so when you do it and you're gonna pull it back, you see? Tuck. And you don't want too much over there. So see I tried to be greedy. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Got that I have a little tear right there, but that's okay. Alright, so Did y'all see how, how I'm holding that? Do you see that? Look at that right there. Do y'all see? And then we're going to we're gonna obviously plate this up and we're gonna we're gonna dip it in the dipping sauce, shall we? Do y'all wanna see me make a mess of this? Okay, there we go, our dipping sauce. And we're gonna just look at that. Do y'all do you wanna bite? Oh, that is so good. Those Italian spices were a nice little blend to that. And as you see, I didn't add any additional fat in the dressing because, duh, I have some fat in the wraps, right? That's how we roll around here. Low fat raw vegan every dang day for the win. Look at that. Do you want some more? I'm not sure how much more time we have, but there's always time for another sampling, right? So good. You should get your wrap on. Right. Do we have time to dance? Somebody just has to get me started just a little bit, you know? And then I'm like a dang wind up dancing toy. Don't worry. 